everybody. Today we're going to talk about what to do if you have a rib out. Um, what that means, what that feels like, what it might, what other things it might be, um, and how to know if maybe you should go to the ER instead. So um, it's funny how things work in practice. I always see the same thing over and over for you know a week solid. I'll have somebody with the exact or everybody with the exact same problem in the exact same place. And this week and last week it's been ribs. Um, when somebody comes in with a rib out or a rib stuck is actually what's happening. Um, it, people often tell me it feels like a knife in the back. I have actually been struggling with this myself this week. Um, and it is so incredibly painful and sometimes just annoying, um, but can be really, really debilitating. So first of all, what, you know, where does it hurt? People, to, when, when, you have a, when you have a rib problem, like I'm talking about, it's going to hurt in your upper back. Um, maybe under your shoulder blade, just usually to the side of your spine. Um, here's where that, what that looks like on the inside. Um, so here's your shoulder blade and the ribs attach to the spine just about an inch or two um, to the side of your spine. And so typically you'll get pain right there. Sometimes it'll wrap around into the side of the ribs as well, but very often it's like right under the shoulder blade where it hurts. Um, and the, the most important thing is first we've got to make sure that it's not a heart attack um, because you hopefully know that heart attacks will definitely cause chest pain. And so the bottom line is if you are at all in doubt, you go to the ER first. Heart attacks typically present with symptoms like chest pain that feels like a crushing or some pressure um, sensation often have nausea that goes along with that, often jaw pain, a headache as well, often pain into your arm. Um, you're very often short of breath, you know, can't, can't get a full lung of air. Sometimes the heart attack will also come with some stomach pain, especially like in your upper stomach, um, sweating definitely, and just a general feeling of, un of feeling unwell is what people often report. So if you have anything like that, or if you're just not even sure if it might be a rib or, or a heart issue, you go to the ER first, most definitely. And if you get checked out and your heart looks fabulous, then you need to get to see a chiropractor because very often it's, it's a, a rib that is, it is stuck. Um, people say a rib out. It's actually stuck is what happens where the rib articulates with your spine. That joint gets stuck. Um, very often if you have somebody run their fingers along the side of your back, they can actually feel a lump or you know the rib where it's kind of sticking out. Um, like I said, it'll feel like a knife in the back. It can really, really, really be painful. Um, it often will cause muscle spasm, so you'll get just a, a really solid muscle mass on that side of your spine as well. Um, very often will also hurt to take a deep breath because of that, that those ribs have to expand and contract when you breathe properly. When one is not working properly, it'll hurt more when you breathe. Or to cough or sneeze is often really, really painful. Um, how do you get a rib, a, a rib stuck? Um, very, very often it's after a bout of coughing. So if, I, I frequently will see people come in with this after a bout of bronchitis or pneumonia or just being sick for a while. Um, sometimes it's a pulling, reaching, twisting action, especially for a long period of time um, that can definitely cause that. Um, sometimes it's nothing. Sometimes it was nothing that you did or you, that you can pinpoint that it, 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 something that just can, happens. Um, this is particularly painful when you're pregnant. I see a, a, a large number of pregnant women with pain in that area. The ribs have to expand a lot with the growing baby and so a, a pain or a, a, a rib that's stuck is not going to expand properly and can be even more painful when you're pregnant. So even more important to get adjusted. So ribs are actually really easy for, for chiropractors to fix usually. They're one of my favorite things to see because I know I can help that person feel better pretty quickly. Um, if The longer it's been there, the harder it is to help. So, you know, if it's something that doesn't go away on its own within a few days, you really need to get adjusted because they're pretty easy for us to fix with usually just a few adjustments. The only thing that can really help at home is ice. I would definitely recommend laying on an ice pack. Um, it often feels good to lay on the floor on an ice pack for 20 minutes at a time to help with that pain. Um, but you, you, you almost always need to get adjusted. Um, 
And so, like I said in the beginning, make sure if you're not sure, if you think, if you have any other strange symptoms, that you go to the ER first because it can mimic a heart attack. Um, but if you've been checked out there and you're still in pain, make sure you come get adjusted. So let me know if you have any questions. Make it a great day.